joy be ever full the father's love I can to give to be the hope for all who
friends so that your joy be ever full Our entrance song is Alleluia, Raise the Gospel. Song number 631. 631. are strong, blessed, those who choose to bring for right where there is strong. Alleluia, alleluia, raise the gospel over the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, peace and justice bringing to birth. Blessed, those who work for justice, blessed, those who answer the call, blessed, those who dare to dream of lasting peace for all. Alleluia, alleluia, raise the gospel over the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, peace and justice bringing to birth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We have also our young people here who will receive for the first time the body and blood of Jesus. And we welcome them to this celebration. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries of Christ's love, let us call to mind our sins. Kyrie eleison Kyrie eleison Christe eleison Christe eleison Kyrie eleison Kyrie eleison May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory 
Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all of the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name, this man stands before you healed. In, he is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we will be saved. The word of the Lord. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princess. 
The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will give thanks to you for you have answered me and have seen my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His kindness endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. We are the living bread and wine. Alleluia, alleluia. Together we live as the body of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. People of God, rejoice and sing. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know mine, and mine know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. There also I must lead and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
Good evening. So we are in the fourth Sunday of Easter, and it is also called the Good Shepherd Sunday. And we are also blessed because we have angels with us, and we are about to receive for the first time the Good Shepherd, that's Jesus, His body and blood. So we welcome them by giving them a round of applause. I will call their names so that uh, you will, I will introduce them to you. Brian Brito Lazaro, stand. Kimberly Martinez. Carla Martinez. Sarah Matlock. Jax Nonan. Where's Jack? Is there at the back? Alejandro Vargas. Eduardo Vargas. Rodrigo Vargas. Semena Vargas. And Harper Verissimo. You may sit down now. And it's very uh, beautiful because the community of believers increases with their participation. And that's why we welcome them. And the Good Shepherd Sunday is also called Vocation. Vocation Sunday. Because Jesus is the good shepherd, we are also called to be shepherds to one another. We are entrusted with the care of the other. That's why we, we take care of these angels, our first communicants, and we pray for them. And we pray that they will continue to receive Jesus every Sunday. And the readings uh, today tell us that we have received so much from God. That we have the name of Jesus above all other names. That in the name of Jesus we are saved. That's we heard from the first reading. Peter and John healed the crippled man by the power of the name of Jesus. And we have been adopted. We are adopted as children of God. That's what we heard from the second reading from John. And we are sons and daughters of the Father. Therefore, we are brothers and sisters. And that's important in our society today, fragmented, divided. We are called to witness that Jesus creating new heavens, new earth, new family, new life, new creation, that is what our young people will receive so that we become another Christ in the world. And that Jesus creating a community of love, community of knowledge, and community of unity. Community of love, because he declares solemnly, I am the good shepherd, I lay down my life for my sheep. The hard man runs away from danger. A hard man doesn't have affection, concern for the sheep. And no commitment, no responsibility, no dedication. And who are the hard men? Do we belong to them? Jesus is referring to the religious leaders of his time. But it's also addressed to us. 
Because God appointed the leaders of Israel to be shepherds of his people. Yet, they are corrupt, irresponsible, and faithful thieves. And that is why we need Jesus, so that we are recreated and we become agents of his mercy and love, shepherding one another. And Jesus said, there is no greater love than this, laying down one's life for his friends. That is what Jesus did on the cross. He died for us. That radical love, extravagant love, loving to the end, he gave his all. That is a good shepherd. He is good because he leaves the 99 to search the lost. He is good because Psalm 23rd, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. In green pastures, he leads me. That's why the Eucharist is the table of abundance. Because we are called to imitate Jesus, his selfless love. When we are greedy, when we are selfish, then there is no table of abundance. There's no table of plenty. And we are a community of knowledge. I know them, they know me. And knowledge in the Bible is beyond physical contact. Knowledge involves experience, relationship, intimacy. I am your God, you are my people. Jesus belongs to us. In fact, we are the mystical body of Christ. He is the head. And they listen to my voice is important because today there are lots of voices, fake news, half-truths. Yet we have Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. I am, that is important. In the Gospel of John, there are seven sayings of Jesus. I am. What are these seven I am sayings of Jesus? I am the bread of life. I am the light of the world. I am the gate. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the true vine. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus identifies himself with God and as God. He speaks and acts in the person of God who alone can satisfy us. Who alone can meet our needs and our longings. That's why he's the good shepherd. Community of love, community of knowledge. This is important to know this Jesus. His words, that's our scriptures that we proclaim every time we celebrate the Holy Mass. And community of unity. There are other sheep who do not belong to this fold, but I will also lead them. They will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. Community of unity, division, is that a sign of God's presence? Our society, our world is so divided. We have war in our midst. Unity, because this Jesus, I will gather all people to myself. And who are these other sheep? The Gentiles, non-believers. We are called to be inclusive in our love. So that is the community of unity. In diversity, plurality, because the Holy Spirit is the source of the variety of gifts, and we are all unique. Why is it that we are unique? Because 
We are God's masterpiece, and God wants the best version of ourselves. And we work for the well-being of others. And Vocation Sunday. What is vocation? To be priests, to be nuns. All of us, we are called to become holy, the universal call to holiness. What is holiness? That we stay inside the church, kneeling 24 hours a day? That we become like Father Romy, who is also holy? Holiness is to be formed according to the mind and heart of God, not for our sake, but for the sakes of others. That's holiness. Set apart, consecrated, so that we make this God shine in our lives. So our response is to be shepherds. We are entrusted to care one another because that is the new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. So that no one will feel alone. So that no one will feel lonely. Reminding me of a story, it's really a legend about the rite of passage that young Indians, the Indian youth, had to go through to become man in their community. So the father will take his son into the forest. He will blindfold the son and leaves the son alone. And the young boy is required not to remove the blindfold until dawn. And the boy is terrified, is scared. He hears all kinds of noise. Wild beast should be all around him. And once he perseveres, he survives the night, he is a man. And finally, when the sun appears, the young boy removes his blindfold, and it is then that he discovers his father sitting beside him. Because the father has been there at watch the entire night, protecting his son from harm. It's that beautiful? And that is also our God, who is our father, who will never abandon us, who will never give up on us. Nothing can separate us from the love of God, the good shepherd leading us to green pasture, to the table of plenty, table of abundance, inviting us, calling us to holiness, to be shepherds, and to take care of one another so that we experience the table of plenty and the table of abundance. Let's always stand and renew our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and visible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. Brothers and sisters, trusting in the Lord's love and care for us, let us bring before Him our prayers and petitions. Let us pray for all who today for the first time will receive the Lord Jesus in Holy Communion. May they love him with all their heart and for forever live faithfully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our parents and our siblings, our relatives and our friends, our godparents and our grandparents, that they may enjoy the gift of deep faith and peace in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve as Christ did, especially Pope Francis, Cardinal McElroy and Father Roby, we, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we always be willing to forgive others as the Lord um, has forgiven them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are in need of food, clothing and a home that we may be given in helping them we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for those who are sick for those who are sick that they may be strengthened and healed in body and spirit Especially Ethel Akani. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the family and friends who have died and are not with us today, that they may share the fullness of eternal life. What? In heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for the deceased members of the divorcious family. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers we have humbly brought before you and answer them in accordance with your divine providence through Christ our Lord. Or offer to our sings like a shepherd, song number 614, 614. the 
Go to the mountain top, lift your voice. Jerusalem, here is your God. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms. Holding them carefully close to his heart Leading them home I myself will shepherd them For others have led them astray The lost I will rescue and heal their wounds And pastor them, giving them rest Like a shepherd he feeds his flock And gathers the lambs in his arms Holding them carefully close to his heart Leading them home Come unto me If you are heavily burdened And take my yoke upon your shoulder shepherd he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms holding them carefully close to his heart leading them home leading them home Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for the good and good of all His church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. With old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread And drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial Of his death and resurrection We offer you, Lord, the bread of life And the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, St. Saint Agnes, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With confidence, let us pray to the Father in the words our Savior gave us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world.
Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Communion song is Shepherd Me, O God. Song number 480, 371. Give to you. 
place our hearts fill us with peace transform our lives and you open our eyes so that we might see your presence in one another your life poured out in love today unites us all in to see the good that lives in each of us that called the world to be and when we fail to see the good when friendship falter and crumble give us the courage to forgive Son of God, your love shows us the way that we may live in harmony and from you never stray. Wipe all oppression from our means, give us a love for all people. Your song of justice sing in us to live for peace today. Let us now sing Bread of Angels, song number 372, 372. Panis Angelicus, feed Panis Domino, that Panis Celicus, figuris Domino. Cup of mercy. Overflowing, fill us with your grace. Wine of passion, so sun begotten, we flee to your embrace. Ores mirabilis, man ducat domino, Servus et humilis.
please stand. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. I would like to uh, ask our uh, newly um, members of uh, our faith community, uh, they receive the body and blood of Christ to come forward so that they will receive um, a gift from, from Jesus. No? Okay, please come forward, full, make a line with, with their candles, and we will light uh, your candles. Let us once again sing Bread of Angels. We'll sing verses 3 and 4. Song number 372. stand up and we give them a round of applause. And uh, don't forget to pray for them. The next uh, Sunday, we have uh, the 5.30 p.m. Mass for our bilingual Mass, the English and Portuguese Mass this uh, coming Sunday. And we have um, another date, fellowship, on May 4th, Cinco de Mayo fundra fundraising with Bishop Polido. He'll be our main celebrant uh, on May 4th, that is Saturday. He will celebrate, Bishop Polido will celebrate Mass at 4.30 p.m. And the event will follow at 5.30 p.m. There will be tacos, drinks, silent auction, live music, and um, the tickets are available. Please stand. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is offered. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Our final song is Lift Up Your Hearts, song number 566, 566. Lift up your hearts to the Lord, praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Praise the name of all names. Say to God, how wondrous your work, how glorious your name. Up your hearts to the Lord, praise God's gracious mercy. Sing out your joy to the Lord, whose love is enduring.